Hello and welcome back to the Three Pillars Podcast. I'm your host, Chase Tobin, a.k.a. Tobinator the Motivator. And this is episode 28, Letting Go of Guilt. Guys, what a beautiful week we've had this week. It's been a little chilly. I got. I like to be able to throw on a jacket from time to time. Because it's, uh, it's just that time of year. Now, the problem in North Carolina is that it gets like warm during the day so this jacket's going to have to come off but it's like cold at night so you never you have you have to pack like all your all your gear in, anywhere you go because you never know what kind of weather you're going to get right or whether it's hot cold or indifferent so uh, that's my little rant on on the the beautiful seasons and the and the trees changing colors and stuff uh, I I just love it I, I really do like this time of year I think that we've all like been conditioned to like the summer so much because we were always off and not in school for, you know, two and a half months in the summertime. But summer's miserable. It's hot. <laughs> you don't want to go outside when it's real hot anyway. So I think more like the fall or like the the late spring is where it's really at if you get down to it. Um, guys, we're just trucking along. This is episode 28. Uh, we are on all major podcast platforms now, uh, now to include Rumble. If you guys don't have a Rumble account, check it out. It's just like a, it's another video sharing platform, very similar to YouTube. Um, but it's just another way to, to consume your, your podcast if you want to watch video content. So I'll upload the videos here uh, on YouTube and also on Rumble. And then you guys can get all the audio and all the places where podcasts are, are prevalent. So like I said, Apple, Spotify, Amazon, Anchor. I'm still waiting on a Pandora approval and a bunch of other places. So... Uh, if you got any issues, check out my anchor link uh, in this uh, description here below, and uh, that'll take you to anywhere you want to find this podcast. Um, you know, however you listen to it, right? So this episode, we're going to be dealing with guilt, and specifically guilt that stems from addiction. I had a good conversation with a friend of mine recently um, who wanted to talk about this. Uh, this topic it, it was on, on her on her head and uh we had a good conversation the other the other evening and I, I think it's something that we can all relate to whether you've actually had um you know full-blown addiction or you've been had some kind of addictive personality or you're just dealing with guilt in in general i think we can really uh, you know dive into this here a little bit uh this evening or whenever you listen to this so all that being said let's uh hit a quick word of prayer and then we'll jump into uh this topic so here we go Heavenly Father, thank you for this day. Thank you for just giving us purpose, Lord. Uh, we ask that you just guide us and direct us each and every single day. Uh, free us from the guilt of the past, but don't let us forget the lessons that we learned uh, from the things that we've been through, Lord. Lord, you are our salvation. You are love. And for that, we thank you, Lord. Lord, I ask you to use me today uh, to get the message out to the fold. And Lord, I ask that you bless anybody tuning in, give them eyes to see, ears to hear, that we may just grow closer to you and our walk with you, Lord. In your holy name we pray. Amen. All right, so we're just, I'm just going to dive right into it. We were specifically talking about um, being addicted to alcohol, for example. And, and uh, my friend is, has since been sober. Good for her. She's doing awesome. Um, but she has flashbacks some, sometimes to the things that... Uh, she did when she was not sober, when she was uh, addicted to alcohol, right? So, for example, and we've all done this, not just her, but this, the example, you know, maybe you've been blackout drunk at some point, and you suddenly remember, oh, man, I can't believe I did that. And it just comes to you like a, like a flashback. And, it's, and you think about this, it could be drugs if you're on a, on a trip. This could be... It re really any kind of like physical addiction like that okay um, and that's that you can't change that let's let's just address that right off the top you can't change what you did in the past does it stink like some of the things that you did you might have done you might have hurt people you know hopefully not physically but maybe physically maybe emotionally um, maybe that's that's the case but you you can't you can't feel guilty about it now you can still have a little you, I, I guess I should take that back you can still have 
um, that feeling like, man, I really wish I hadn't done that. But again, nothing you can change about it now. Hopefully at this point in your recovery process, you have, you know, forgiven yourself, forgiven that person or, or ask them to forgive you for whatever ha happened. Uh, that's important for, for closure. Uh, but also just as that part of growth, it's like, hey, I'm not the same person anymore. Um, that That's not me. And it can be, uh, you can have this guilty feeling even though you're sober now because like, man, I just, I can't shake the fact that I did X, Y, or Z uh, when I was under the influence of, sub, of said substance, right? Um, and like I said, even if, you, even if you struggle and you make peace with it daily, you pray, you repent, you know, everything's good. It's, it's going to still pop up. You're human. What you can do, if you're starting to feel these, these uh, feelings, I'm going to pull up a verse for you guys uh, that will help you. Uh, let's see. Let me search this for you. I should have pulled this up ahead of time, but it, it, it literally just popped to me while I was thinking about this. Um, and let's see if I got it in here. I did mean Philippians. Where is it? Do, do, do. Give me one second. I, I apologize for the downtime. I will try to edit this out, but I can't make any promises. But if, if you're feeling guilty, if you're feeling like you've got these thoughts that just pervade in your um, in your brain when you're when you're trying to cope with these things, I, you know I, I'll release you. But what you can do is you can replace that. Um, you can replace those negative thoughts with positive thoughts, and it's in Philippians. And I'm going to try to find it. And I, I apologize for being off off today, but again, something here. I have a lot of highlighted verses here. Well, anyways, it's in Philippians, and I'll do a search for it later, and I'll put, try to put that in the description box. I, I hate to just waste like 30 seconds of your time. I try to keep these short. But essentially what Paul is telling the church is to, when you get these negative thoughts, these lustful thoughts, these guilty thoughts, and these things that pop in your mind, replace them with things that are pure, that are good, that are lovely, like your family, your what you're doing with your life, your ministry to the Lord. These things replace those negative thoughts with these positive thoughts. That's how you can help overcome that addiction in the first place. Um, that's how I helped overcome my pornography addiction, and I'm not ashamed to talk about that. I was addicted for a very, very long time. From a, I wouldn't say, I mean, relatively young age too. I think. All right, and it just recently being a break free of that. Everybody still struggles with it, obviously. Still struggle with it. But it's not as full-blown as it was at some point. And, and the more you pray, the more you fill your, your heart, soul, and mind with these lovely things, with the Spirit of the Lord, with the, with the, the Word, uh, the more you can uh, overcome you know, that addiction. And in this case, you can overcome that guilt. Okay, you had something bad happen in the past. Um again you can't change it you can replace those negative thoughts with positive thoughts okay ha look at me now though where I was compared to at that time much healthier not doing dumb stuff not staying up till you know two three o'clock in the morning when the bar is closed only to find a way stumble home hopefully not drink and drive home you know for whatever and then have to get up four hours later for Something you know, you know what I mean? Like you, you just—that's not a healthy lifestyle. But then now replace that. What are you? What are you doing right now? It's a beautiful thing when you look at your your uh, road that you've recovered from, right? Um. But like I said, we've all done really, really dumb things. <laughs> you were all teenagers at some point, right? Or in college, or or early in your military career. Some of you guys are veterans that watch this. If you look back and you don't learn or grow from that experience. Maybe you got to go back and look harder and see what the lesson was. And determine what you learned from that event. And then 
you got to if these things keep popping up maybe it's just a a reminder and it's not an easy thing to do but maybe it's a reminder that this is somewhere you never want to go again being blackout drunk some people damn near ODing on uh, some kind of drug pardon my French um That's where you, that's, it's going to sting. It's going to sting, but it's going to remind you that's not where you want to go again. Because if it didn't sting, if it didn't give you that conviction, you know, replace the word guilt with conviction. Maybe that'll help you out. Now you've got the conviction to know, I never want to do that again. Whether it's drugs, alcohol, gambling, pornography, whatever it is. Look back, man, I never want to be in that position again. Or I'm blowing all my money on the craps table, or I'm, you know, spending every, you know, free moment I've got trying to, you know, find that, you know, chase that dragon on Pornhub or whatever you're on. You know what I mean? Like, it's gonna sting, but that's a good thing because you it, you're not gonna go back there anymore. And that was just kind of, that's kind of me spitballing there, right? You don't have to feel guilty. You're, you're going to because it's an outer human emotion. But again, look back at the lesson that you learned from being in that position where you, that, that may be flashing back. That you may have that's this guilt over. Okay? Take an objective step. Uh, take a real... Take a step back. Take an objective look at the situation. Not just... How you feel in the moment now? Take a take a look and really analyze what was going on in that moment. Why were you behaving in such a way? Was it the people you were hanging around? Was it just the ease of it being, you know, available? Whatever this vice is that you're dealing with, and it's like, man, I don't. I've removed that from my life. I don't have these toxic people in my life. I don't have this substance uh, readily available to me. I just I'm nowhere near. A casino, or you know, you know what I mean. And now you can say, "Look, I, look how much I have grown from this experience." And that is how you're going to help. You know, that's how you're going to let go of it. Because the and again, the more you fill your your heart, soul, and mind with these positive uh, things in your life, again, the growth, your family, how you're doing physically. And that's part of it too, because a lot of this is physical. The guilt can be physical. You can get that knot in your stomach, lump in your throat kind of deal. You can let it go once you understand what it is that's plaguing you, if that makes sense. I think it makes a little sense. All that being said, I'm going to find that verse uh, in Philippians. It's, it's, it's going to come to me after I get done recording this. I know it. and I'll, But I'll put it in, in the description box. That way you, you remember, just like Paul says, Negative thoughts can be replaced by positive thoughts. Positive thoughts come from the Lord. Fill your heart and your soul and your body with the, the beauty that is God and his love for you. That's that, right? Uh, I hope that helped. Um, I think it was a good conversation the other night. I think we had a, had a good little, little spiel about it. Um, and I think everybody can really learn from the past. Because if you don't, I guess it was it Rafiki does in uh, in uh, the Lion King. He whaps Simba in the head. It's like you know, if you don't learn from if you <laughs> look at the past, you don't learn from it. You can't grow from it, right? He keeps whapping him in the head till he ducks. Oh yeah, you got to learn from the past, right? So that's what it is. The things will keep bopping you in the head until you uh, get that lesson learned from it, right? So I hope you learned something from this video. Uh, I hope you can take this and apply it to your life. Um, if it's something that you think is, is is if it's a good message to send to somebody else, shoot them shoot them the link. Where if you, if they don't watch on YouTube or Rumble, then shoot them a podcast link on uh, you know Anchor, Amazon, uh, Apple, Spotify, whatever, and we'll get the word out. You know if you want to if you and man, I can't thank you guys enough for the um, the content. Man, what a great con. Uh, comment that was you know, I think it's a couple weeks ago she uh, we had that conversation but I had already recorded last week before I did this one but um, 
I'm, I'm telling you guys, if you've got something you want to talk about, I'm going to get it to the forefront as quickly as I can. Uh, so keep them coming. Keep them coming. Whatever you guys got, shoot them my way. Be more than happy to uh, to discuss all this with you guys just because, again, this is a therapeutic session just for me, just like it is uh, hopefully for you guys. And if we want to go even deeper into this one of these days, uh, we can. This is just very surface-level stuff. Hashtag not a professional, but I'm here to... Um, to give at least my take on it and then we can go from there so all that being said i hope you guys have a phenomenal uh, rest of your week have a great weekend i'm gonna be a little out of pocket next week i'm gonna try to get a uh, an episode recorded and ready to upload uh, for thursday next week because i'm gonna be busy as i'll get out uh come sunday so we'll see how that goes let's uh, hit it with a quick word of prayer and we will send you guys off to the weekend all right Heavenly Father, thank you for, for loving us. Thank you for forgiving us. Thank you for freeing us from the the burden of guilt and the and just rectifying our fallen condition, Lord, I am with what you did on the cross. Lord, I ask you, Jesus, that you just bless and keep everybody who tunes into this. God is in direct us. Keep us strong in our faith for you. Keep us strong mentally, physically, and spiritually that we may go out and withstand everything that gets tossed at us because there's nothing that, that we can't overcome that you have not overcome because, Lord, you have overcome the world. Lord, I ask that you, again, keep everybody safe and keep our eyes open, our, our hearts towards you. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, guys. Again, I appreciate you tuning in. If you got anything for me, you know where to find me. And, uh, yeah, we'll talk to you all soon. Tobinator out.